Good morning and welcome to the porch once again. Glad to have you guys here. Well, we're going to go ahead and do a motivational or inspirational type video this morning. I kind of veered away from those just a little bit, but I think it's important to do this. And so having said that, let's go into a subject that I think will help people to better appreciate their life and who they are. Now, there's two major markers in the life of a human being. And number one is the day they were born. Number two, the day that they die. Now, we're going to call this video the journey. And, and here's the reason why, because between those two markers that I just described to you, is the journey it's who you are and who you become over a period of time i, I want to back up to the first marker in our lives and that marker being the day we were born and let's try to put some perspective on that and that perspective being how important the day of your birth really is and was i did a little bit of research online to try to understand the calculation of the chances of you or i either one being born and scientifically they put a number on it or at least one group did okay and that number i believe was seven hundred thousand trillion that's just insane, hard for the human mind to even understand what that means. However, I don't believe that's correct. And here's the reason that I say that. In the research that I did, I found out that there are so many variables to you even being born that those variables can change things astronomically so really because of the countless tens of thousands and maybe millions uh, or even trillions of variables throughout the centuries that that culminated to you being born it's just hard to calculate what those are fact is it's really it'd be impossible to calculate those so saying all that let's just really realize how special you are the chances of you being born is a miracle for certain so that makes you important very important again it's calculating your importance would be impossible just as well and your importance will change because of the variables of what your life is and the decisions that you make. Now, we're moving into the journey side of this thing. As you go through life, you are going to grow in certain ways. You're going to accept certain things as true. You're going to accept certain things as a part of your life. That's how you filter and make decisions in your life. And you're going to do that for however many years you live that point between the day of your birth and the day of your death. Now, we're all going to die sooner or later. That's just the way this thing works. And if you don't believe that, you know, go do the math on it and you're going to find out that you are, okay? Now, there are from some Christian communities exceptions to that rule, so I'm going to, I'm going to give that community that. That's the thing they accept by faith. But I'm not going to get into that. That's a, that's a subject for another day. But here's the thing I want us to think about probably more than anything else. And this is the crust of this whole video is if we are a miracle being born into this world, then there's a really good chance that our life has purpose, meaning, and is probably divinely uh, orchestrated 
And we have a role in that because we have free will choice. We're able to make decisions. But just for the sake of conversation, and I know not everybody will agree with this, but let's just follow it through. For the sake of conversation, let's just say that at the end of this, right after our deaths, we have to give account for our lives. Where would you stand if that happened today? Where would I stand if that happened today? Well, that puts a whole new thought process in, into action. And that is, if I'm going to have to account for my life, I need to make sure that the decisions that I make are right, or as right as I can. And here's the thing about making decisions. A lot of people make decisions out of emotion and they just make decisions and they never really analyze before they make that decision why they're making that decision. Now, this is a subject that I can go very deep into, but we're going to stay on the surface today and we'll go in depth off and on different times. But when we make a decision, if we calculate it and say, well, I've decided that I'm going to go down to the local mission or the local homeless shelter and I'm going to help those folks down there. I'm going to give them some money and I may just volunteer and do things. Well, why would you do that? Well, you would do that because you want to contribute to relieving the pain and suffering of the lives of other people. Guys, this has got to be a good thing. Or you can say, well, you know what, I'm just going to go to the lake and water ski and spend money and uh, have a big picnic and all of that. Now, nothing wrong with that, but that's for you. And it's all right to do those things for you. But if you don't balance those things, if you don't give something back into society, then you become... Uh, I'm trying to think of the best word to say it kindly, and I'm not real sure I'm going to get there. But you become a, a, a burden on the world that you live in because you're taken out of it, but you're not given back into it. And I think at the end of this whole thing, that's what we're going to account for. Why did we make the decisions? Did we balance those decisions? Did we do some good things, contribute back into the world that we live in? Or did we just take away from the world that we live in? And we, we can go into depth, you know, uh, of this. and We can talk about uh, people that just decide they're going to, say, do drugs and they destroy their lives with drugs and maybe even alcohol. Who knows? But they destroy their lives. And, the, and if they had made different choices, they could have contributed into helping the world be a better place. And here's the whole thing here, guys. It's up to us. We all belong to this planet. We're all on this planet. And if we decide that we're just going to take from this planet and never give anything back and that somehow we deserve better than anybody else, we got a wrong attitude. We need to change that and ask ourselves, what can I give back into this world that I'm living in? Can I help it financially? And that's just a small part, guys. I, people get hung up on that. Sometimes your time that you take to go mow your, your neighbor's yard that maybe, maybe uh, in the process of their life, they've had hardships. They had lawnmowers tore up. They can't mow their own lawn. And you just go over and mow it just because they're your neighbor. Just the little things of giving your time are really big things. And that is a part of the journey. Ask yourself this. As I'm going through this journey in life, if I stand before a creator, what am I going to say? What is he going to say? Just think about that. With that said, I'm not going to go too much farther on this thing. But here's what I want us to think about more than anything else. What can I do to help the people around me? What can I give in the community that I live in? And how can I make the sufferings of others more bearable? 
Am I a good person? A giving person? Am I a selfish person? Answer those things honestly. I pose these questions to each and every one of us so that we'll understand if we want a better world to live in, we have to decide to make that world a better world. It doesn't happen on its own. I'm going to close with this. We at the porch here love you guys. We hope that the things we say will contribute into your life and help you. And we ask that you contribute into other lives and help other people. Having said that, guys, I'm going to go ahead and close. We appreciate you guys watching. And may God bless.